What's up, Price Fun Nation? Today we've got a fun video coming. We're gonna be talking about vegan proteins. From the most non-vegan people on the planet, but <laughs> this is a tech and media company to recover this dietary supplement industry, and we have been tasting a lot of plant proteins and vegan proteins mm -hmm. and non-animal based proteins and a lot of people are looking for this not just because they're vegans or looking to not like murder animals or even like milk cows but also just sometimes just go dairy free yeah. and so it's been a market that's been growing a lot and we're coming from the sports nutrition point of view my name is mike roberto this is ben kane and we uh, yeah so we cover the dietary supplement industry cook a lot of food we eat a lot of food and we love to test proteins and we're always leveraging protein here and one thing is that the plant-based dieters and the vegans you gotta have more protein mm -hmm. and supplementing your way around it is a great way to do it and so we've been testing a lot of the, the vegan proteins that come out of the sports nutrition realm of things. Mm -hmm. And this is our top five list. So uh, one of the things to, that we should be talking about is like you talk about vegans needing more protein. Yeah. We're talking about complete proteins here. Right. And that's something that in all of our top five products we're all going to have uh, complete amino acid profiles. Mm -hmm. So... And a lot of, yeah, so a lot of that's driven by pea protein. But, uh, you know, there's different blends. We're starting to see that there's like extra protein that can be added to like smooth and thicken things out because if you go with a pure brown rice protein or pure pea protein you're going to miss out on the amino acid profile in one yeah. or it's just going to be kind of pea like in, in mm -hmm. another and and i know a lot of vegans are accepting of that to a degree but you know what we know how to flavor stuff in this industry so let's do it and that's what's happened there's been you're going to see a lot of different ways of doing this so the the, the first two ben hasn't had the honor of trying but i'm for number five i'm going with evl evolution nutrition's plant protein because it is, and it's, uh, they have the whole stacked protein line, but their plant protein one is tastes incredible because they're sweetening with honey. So I think uh, the honey is a great way to go, but of course it's going to add a lot of carbohydrates to it. But a lot of, you know what, the fact is that most plant-based dieters, it's a high carb diet yeah. unless you are doing some crazy yeah. stuff, which is possible too. Mm -hmm. And so the honey kind of, it works alongside of it and you taste the honey and it, it tastes good. I, I, I'm a big fan. And in general, when looking at like staying lean on diet, you just want, you want more protein than the carbs plus fats in a lot of these products. And you easily get that with these, but a lot of these products are going to be a little bit higher carb and doing it with honey is a better way of avoiding the bitterness of stevia and, or the expense of monk fruit extract or just, um, you know, an easy way to mask over, you know, the, the plant earthy taste of like the pea protein and everything. So Evolution Nutrition did a great job adding honey. I thought that was very unique. It can also and, bring in like a, a plethora of micronutrients too, depending on the yeah, source of the honey or how much processed it is. Uh, honey is huge, full, full of a lot of vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and stuff like that. That's so. right. Yeah, they didn't really advertise any of that, so I'm not totally sure, but yeah, yeah. that's definitely a good point. Could be an interesting uh, addition to it. Yeah. Now, Ooh. number four, and well, we can link back to my, my reviews of these. Number four is my wild card here, and I think this is important because, because this is not just a protein powder. It's actually marketed as a mass gainer, and Ooh. it's Vegan Nutrition's Vegan Mass. But I don't even think it's a mass gainer. It's more of a meal replacement. If you look at the panel, they have so many things added into it that are things that typically vegans are deficient in. Like okay. I'm talking about like various vitamins, zinc, th and minerals, things like that on top wow. of the protein. But there's also a lot of carbs there. And they're from trusted carb sources that uh, from like, you know, the sports nutrition suppliers that we've become very familiar with. So this is more like, you know, vegan protein powders, but this one definitely adds in the carbs and that's on purpose because it's used as a meal replacement, but they're bringing along the, uh, the you know, the, the minerals and the micronutrients along for the ride. Right. Because if you just like drink protein powder all day long, then you're going to be like, oh, wait, well, now I'm really short on certain vitamins and minerals and everything. So the vegan mass is actually a, a good way to do a meal replacement. What kind of carb sources are we talking about here? I think Mod Carb from oh, Fusion cool. Circles, which is like they got ancient grains and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. and, and so, we, yeah, we'll link back to the, to the video I did on that nice. and the whole blog post. But the, it was also super smooth the way cool. they did it. And that's because they're using some of the watermelon seed extract from Compound Solutions. Maybe, don't quote mm -hmm. me on this. Uh, so it, it maybe the, the pumpkin seed extract as well. We've seen in some oh, others. The smooth protein? Yeah, the smooth cool. protein. That's it. Yeah, nice. Compound solution. So they have some of that in there, and they're using a lot of stuff from like a lot of the trusted suppliers. It's not just some yeah, Anytime you're using compound solutions, you know you're getting something quality. Yeah. They don't right. put their name on them, just anything. So. Exactly. So that was that's my wild card pick. <laughs> now, for the three that separate themselves, in my opinion, PE Sciences select vegan select protein powder. I'm a huge fan of their dairy-based select protein powder. And when they came out with the vegan select, they did a fantastic job. The chocolate bliss that I have here, this one's really good, but it wasn't until the cinnamon delight flavor. If you're a cinnamon fan, 
this is the one to get in my opinion. This is like, they, they use a really high quality cinnamon, I'm kind of a cinnamon snob sometimes. They use a quality cinnamon that is just, it's strong and mm -hmm. it's, it's very strong. And if you're a cinnamon lover, then you're not even gonna like worry about any pea protein kind of taste or smell or anything. So are we talking about a legitimate dose of, wow, a legitimate dose of cinnamon here that could be helping with the carbohydrates in their vegetarian diet? I do not know. Oh, okay. Because it is all listed under natural flavor and mm. then stevia extract and salt and guar gum. So okay. Maybe. Don't know, but yeah, cinnamon has a ton of different benefits. Typically, sure. the, the cinnamons are like extracted for certain okay. constituents that that help you know work with your insulin a little bit better. But we are seeing cinnamon in a lot, a bunch of these different vegan proteins as something that complements the maybe the flavor, the natural yeah. flavor of the proteins. Yeah, definitely. So look for that a little bit later, flavor, a little bit. Yeah, later. and overall, yeah, I mean it's pretty pretty clean here. We got 20 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, half a gram of fat. So 110 calories, and that's kind of what- That's low fat for a vegan protein too. Yeah, exactly. So 110 calories, like that's what a lot of the vegan dieters are looking to get. But then, and you have a pretty high source of iron, but of course, again, you're gonna have to worry about some of the other stuff. This is just like straight up protein. Wow. So Okay, so number one and two, we're not gonna say which one's which yet. Yeah, so we got number one, number discussion? two here. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit because uh, when we talk about vegan proteins, are we talking about the sources? Are we talking about the flavoring? Mm -hmm. Are we talking about, um, is it plant sourced or is it just not animal sourced? Right, okay. there's a difference between plant-based and vegan if you wanna get really technical. Right. Because one of these has sucralose in it and there ain't no sucralose tree. <laughs> yeah, so we're talking about are you, you know, what is the reason for your dietary need? Right. Are you doing this because you are, if you're sensitive to dairy, but you're not sensitive to sucralose, mm -hmm. a vegetarian or vegan protein could be a great option for you. Mm -hmm. And you can sweeten it artificially, and right. enjoy the process arguably more mm -hmm. in some cases. Mm -hmm. But for someone who is a plant-based type of dieter, who is looking for a natural everything. Yeah, of the earth, like ground-based food yeah, and everything. Because a lot of people who are on that type of diet, diet are they are against um, synthetic ingredients. Right. For whatever reason they have, um, we may disagree with that, but that's what their need is. So mm -hmm. number one, number two are, they're both great tasting proteins. Mm -hmm. They're uh, unique in their own ways. Um, they're using a couple similar sources of protein. Mm -hmm. uh, Nutrex's plant protein is using the compound solution of, uh, protein that we were talking about before. Right. Uh, ghosts vegan. And ghost vegan, the one with the the sucralose inside. Yeah. So plant protein from Nutrix, we should say, actually is using monk fruit. And that's why, I, and that's the differentiator. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. But that stevia has got that little bit of a bitter sweetness and everything that yeah, everyone's got to work around. Nutrix took a total left turn. This is brand new in 2019. They went with monk fruit extract. And you're starting to see this in a lot more stuff. Right. The flavor profile is completely different. And Ben like hyped it big and I almost think he still didn't hype it enough because I had yeah. this and I was like holy crap this chocolate flavor is fantastic. Well, Mike loves this chocolate and mm -hmm. that, it was, he said yeah I might have not hyped it enough but what I think the true shining one here is the cinnamon cookie. Mm -hmm. This cinnamon cookie when I drank it uh, I had the urge to call Paul and ask him if this was actually whey protein yeah. because it is so smooth it's, it is so great tasting mm -hmm. and I mean there are certain let's be honest when I was at Nutra, I was... This is a vanilla caramel, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. But it, yeah. I, I was sitting through the... I sat through the flavoring of the OPP at Nutra, and I was like, mm -hmm. I know all the characteristics of, of plant proteins that I don't like. And when I drank that cinnamon, it was like, I didn't get any of those. Right. Right? So I was like, you sit there and you wait for the grittiness to come. You wait for that film on your tongue to come. Mm -hmm. And there was none of it. And the, then with no stevia, there is no that bitter sweetness and everything, so there's no bitter residue. Right. It was just like... Whoa, and so I think they used a really quality chocolate or cocoa in the chocolate, which really impressed me. Mm -hmm. uh, and and what they told us uh, in the interview we had on the podcast, we can link back to it, mm -hmm. is that they used, if you go with just a single flavor, just chocolate, it's not enough. Like you actually have to like twist two flavors that kind of right. like weave it together with the monk fruit. Whatever. I don't know, I'm not a flavorist or anything, yeah. but it works. And I noticed like, I get a little notes of caramel with the chocolate mm -hmm. and with the, uh, and so the vanilla is the same way. And then the cinnamon. It actually was vanilla caramel, uh, the, the cinnamon cookie. I yeah. think the, 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 like the, um, the baked portion of that was kind of the, the, the plant right. side coming through. So th that one's super impressive. Now we just yesterday did the pancake batter 
flavor of ghost vegan mm -hmm. and i was blown away because i was like well pancake batter always looks good but never like tastes no. as good this is like what i wanted pancake batter to taste like right. back when i was a kid trying to lick the bowl and I'm like oh no so this is it, it smelled really good and tasted really good of course it is sucralose really sweetened and uh, so have you had the other flavors though i haven't and uh, what i think kind of what it comes down to is kind of like what your personal preference is yeah pancake batter is wildly unique mm -hmm. extremely good for mm -hmm. what it is um, I'd love to have the peanut butter because peanut butter is something that Ghost doesn't seem to fail at. Yeah. Right. So, um, I, I, as long as you're cool with the sucralose, this is an awesome option. Right. So, which one's number one? I think. Uh, I know. I know what I got for it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, to me, it's kind of like I'm looking at it. Not most of our top fives are like the whole line is here and the whole line is here. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's kind of like it. It depends on which flavor it is. Yeah. The vanilla from Nutrex mm -hmm. is definitely below the pancake batter from Ghost. Correct. Right? Um, I would probably put the cinnamon cookie from Nutrex above the pancake mm -hmm. batter. But without knowing the, the peanut butter from Ghost, I have like I have a very like educated guess that the peanut butter vet vegan from Ghost, mm -hmm. like, I don't know if that can even compare. So if I have to choose, like if someone put like a gun to my head is like you gotta pick one. Chocolate and cinnamon from Nutrex make it number one for me. Agreed. And I, for me, I, I, I got to take a step back and be like, I love what they did with the monk fruit extract. I think it can service more people. There's going to be some people who would most, I think more people want plant-based. The people that are finding this like by searching on YouTube. Yeah. For them, it's Nutrex without a doubt. Monk fruit over all that stevia stuff, got to try it. For a lot of the, the standard price plot viewers who are cool with sucralose, they're probably going to be cool with Ghost Way, but I want to reach as much audience as possible. Nutrex is the way to do that, in my opinion. Mm. I, I think it might be a lack of data, too. Like, we haven't tried all the flavors from Ghost. Yeah. So, that's that have to happen. Yeah, that peanut butter could put it at the top. Um, I actually might disagree with you. I think that more people are concerned about the vegan source than the sucralose. I think sucralose. Years ago, used to be like, oh my God, it converts to you know like all these horrible things in your body. And also, but I think a lot of more people are are, are kind of cool with that now. Mm -hmm. But they they realize that dairy still is inflammatory for them. Right. Yeah. Are we, are, talking, are we talking? Are we talking about zero dairy? Or are we talking about plant based? Yeah. Why are you here? Leave your comments below. We're kind of curious because I I, th I think you're wrong personally, but I don't know. Well, and, and the cool <laughs> Not thing, enough data. Yeah. And the cool thing here though is that uh, these companies are actually. Pointing at two different um, demographics entirely. Right. We yeah. talked with uh, Nutrex. They were saying we're looking for the natural athlete mm -hmm. that is extremely, uh, you know, plant based, and they're looking for mm -hmm. more natural options. Ghost is definitely going towards the younger person, the more mainstream person who is going to clubs and partying and all this stuff, but still cares about the not having dairy in their protein. Right. right? This is obviously like the more the more fun branding cool. and everything, and it's the younger guns and everything, and. I'm, and I, it seems like there is a trend towards the natural sweeteners, but at the end of the day, it's tough to beat sucralose. So yeah, yeah. I, I really, I would love, I would love your comments below because this is a list that we're gonna have to keep updated. All these top fives I'd like to do once or twice a year, and the plant proteins is obviously gonna evolve a lot. I'm sure there's gonna be other brands reach out to us that are been in the vegan world forever, and we are coming from a sports nutrition angle. So these are sports nutrition brands. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious, like there's some other brands that have been around forever on Amazon that might be like, whoa, 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 who are these folks and everything? So it's gonna be an evolving list. We gotta try the other other ghosts, but overall I am, I think that the Nutrex can hit more people just by having that monk fruit extract. And if nothing else, and you've never had monk fruit extract instead of stevia, you gotta give it a go. That's yeah. that's that's my take. Yeah, I think that if, the, if it was one flavor against another, it'd be really tough, mm -hmm. depending on which one got picked from Nutrex. Yeah. The fact that they have three different flavors that you know goes to different gra uh, demographics, mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the pancake flavor is extremely unique on its own. It's not a classic chocolate or vanilla. Right. Right. And um, that's cool for some people. Yeah. If you've been doing vegan proteins forever and you need something different, that would be this yeah, is different for sure. For. But when you're talking about, I mean, like, there's a reason that chocolate and vanilla are the top selling flavors of all time. Mm -hmm. You can come out with Chips Ahoy, like Ghosted, chocolate and vanilla are still going to be the top, top selling flavors overall. Mm -hmm. So, totally unique. Totally different, but when it comes down to it, I think I think we have to put Nutrex in the number one spot. That's what I got um, for you know with the data that we currently have. Well, yeah, so I would love to see your comments below. 
and we thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We're not always going to do vegan stuff. You're going to see meat cooked on this channel and everything else. We're looking at the performance and health aspects of things. But if you are going for a whole foods, plant-based diet, then yeah, make sure you, you can do it. You can do it healthy and everything, but you are going to have to get a little bit of supplemental help. And we're happy to kind of talk about that stuff and, and list out the things that you might need. And if you're really looking at that, I still, I'm still i going to go back to that vegan mass and mm. look at that as a meal replacement on top of maybe one a scoop of this too. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Check out pricelaw.com slash vegan dash proteins. I don't, I, okay, just search yeah, Price Law for vegan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you next time. Welcome to Price Law.